and the lockpicking cuba and for a bit of a departure for me I'm going to do a video on cryptic crosswords uh, today. So my plan is I'm going to solve a times quick cryptic crossword, try saying that quickly three times, um, but in solving it I'm going to go very slowly and explain every step um, that I'm taking and all the thinking that I'm doing. Um, my idea here is that this should not act exactly as a tutorial but if you're just getting into cryptic crosswords this might give you some hints um, for getting going. I've been solving cryptic crosswords since I was a kid um, but they're the kind of thing where it's actually quite difficult to teach because there's so much kind of art to it rather than science um, as you'll see. Anyway so the Times main crossword is this one, the Times cryptic. Um, they also do a quick cryptic and I'm going to do yesterday's quick cryptic. It's, it's basically the same as the main Times crossword. It's got it's slightly smaller so it has fewer clues and sometimes some of the clues are slightly easier but roughly speaking it's the same. So let's have a look. So the idea of a cryptic crossword as opposed to a straightforward um, crossword is that the clues are made up of some rather more complex parts and as you'll see generally speaking there's two parts to each clue so generally speaking there's a definition and then there's a bit of wordplay. The definition tells you something like a synonym for the answer and then the wordplay gives you some other more cryptic clues to get there. So let's have a look. So we'll start with this first clue. Note current clergyman is a member of the board. Now what I'm thinking here is a bunch of things. So uh, I don't know the answer yet. I do know that um, note can be a whole bunch of different things. Sometimes it can just be N. I'll come back to that in a bit, but sometimes it can be N. Sometimes it can be the um, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, like the notes on a piano or another musical instrument. Um, sometimes it can be Do, Re, Mi, so far, whatever, those things. So it's not super helpful, it can be any of those things. Current is usually I, because I is the um, SI symbol for current. So I'm pretty confident it's I. Clergyman can be lots of different things, but I'm kind of wondering if it might be Rev in this case. Um, maybe not, it could also be, what else? There's Parson and Rector. Director, there we go. So that's how I got there. So the note turns out to be D. And notice I didn't need to work that out. I kind of got the answer and that helps me figure out which note it is. Um, so we've got D for note, we've got I, which is current, and then this word rector, which is a type of clergyman. And then the whole thing is what you call a member of the board, at least in the UK. Um, so that's a good example. So the definition here is a member of the board and the wordplay is note current clergyman. Okay, so now we've got a few letters. Let's take a look at some of these. So one down. Unemployed, stopped living around southern United States. Um, so my first thought is southern United States could just be S-U-S. I wonder if this is a word that ends in S-U-S or has S-U-S in it, in which case the whole thing would mean unemployed. Now the reason I say that is because I mentioned that the clues are usually a definition and some wordplay. Uh, the definition has to be at the beginning or the end. It can't be sort of buried in the middle of the workplace. So the definition here has to either be unemployed or something at the end here. That seems quite unlikely. So I think the definition is unemployed. It's a word beginning with D that means unemployed. And then all this other stuff would be uh, a way of working out the answer. I don't know what it is, so I'm going to move on. In the country, right on river in Russia. Okay, this is a fairly straightforward one. So the definition is in the country. Right is almost always R. Now, I want to just mention something here, which is that I've already said that note can sometimes be N and right can sometimes be R. So does that just mean you can say any word is just represented by its first letter? Well, no, unfortunately, it's not that straightforward. There has to be, the rule is, there has to be a definition in the dictionary. I think it's the Chambers Dictionary they use at the Times um, for that abbreviation. So if you look up R, the letter R in the Chambers Dictionary, you'll see R, river. And for note, you'll see N, note. As long as that exists, then they can use it, use it as a single letter abbreviation. You can't just take out, you can't just say that means A because it's angelic, for example, if that isn't an abbreviation in the dictionary. Anyway, sorry, so come back to this clue. So R is um, right. Uh, R is also sometimes river, by the way. So both right and river can be R, but in this case, it's R for right. And then river in Russia is the Ural River, which gives us rural, which means in the country. Okay, so let's move on. Unfortunately, not angelic. That's been the case since birth. Okay, so 
this is a, a nice standard kind of clue. Um, what we have here is an anagram. So the word unfortunately is one of many, many words that can be used. We'll probably come across others in this puzzle to tell you that there's an anagram. An anagram is just when you rearrange the letters. And in this case, the anagram is the words not angelic. So unfortunately tells us to rearrange the letters of not angelic. And that will give us something that means that's been the case since birth. Uh, and a word that means that is congenital. Congenital is an anagram of not angelic. Okay. Old fool. So old is usually just O. It could be other things, but it's usually just O. Old fool shutting in European wild cat. Now I'm thinking of ocelot. Isn't that a wild cat? Oh yeah, it is. That's the answer. So again, this is sometimes the way this works is you, you realize the answer from the, you know, maybe one of the letters and the definition and then you figure out how the wordplay works. That's what happened for me there. So old is O. Fool is clot, C-L-O-T, and then um, shutting in European means that the word for fool, i.e. clot, contains the letter E, E means European, again that's one of those abbreviations you'll find in the dictionary, so we put O for old and then clot, and inside it we put the letter E. Okay, let's move on, let me have a look at this one. Ointment line, line is usually L, ointment line displayed in store. I don't know what that is. Ointment makes me think of cream, but I can't think of another word. Salve, that's the answer, yeah, okay. Um, aha, see now this is a very good example of something that's important to understand. So when you read this, you're thinking, okay, well, because it's something in a store, store here is a noun, it's a place, it's a place you go to display something. But actually the definition here is store in a different sense, or rather the meaning of the word store is, is the meaning of the word to store something, it's the verb. So what we have is we have line, which is L, displayed in a word that means store, which is save. And we put those together and we get salve, which means ointment. So although store looks like a noun in the clue, it's actually being used as a verb here. This is pretty standard in crossword clues. Okay, where bishop is to supervise. Hmm. Where bishop is to supervise. Now, I don't know the answer to this. Don't know enough about bishops. Well, oh, could it be on board? Does on board mean supervise? I mean, a bishop in terms of chess is on a board. Do you supervise someone by onboarding them? Not really. Mm, don't know. It could be on board, but we'll come back to that. Uh, to this one here. Foreigner wanting more rum. <coughs> Foreigner wanting more rum. Oh, I see. Okay, so this one is, roughly speaking, it's just a double definition. So the answer means foreigner, and it also means more rum. Now, one of the things you'll find is rum does get used in the context of being a drink in clues. It's a nice short word, but it also often means strange, and that's what it means in this case. So if something is more strange, then it's stranger, and a foreigner is also a stranger. So the answer is stranger. Um, the word wanting here isn't really strictly necessary. It could have been foreigner more rum, but they've put wanting in as a kind of joining word to make it make a little more sense as a, as a sentence. And that meaning of the sentence is purely there to mislead you. It's a sort of, it's a thing of beauty, think of it that way, but also to try and distract you from what's intended. All right, let's have a look at this. Unemployed, stopped living, uh, okay. So this one's not too bad. So you probably can guess immediately what stopped living is. Right, I can only really think of one word for that, so that's died. I suppose there's others as well. But anyway, that word is died. And then we put that around Southern United States, which is Southern United States, which is S-U-S. And the answer is something that means unemployed, which in this case is disused. So we've got died around S-U-S for Southern United States. Okay, unimportant point in doc. Um, an important point in doc. Now, I don't know the answer to this. Point sometimes can be N, S, E, or W for north, south, east, and west, like the points on the compass. Um, don't know. Let's move on from that. So, 12. Oh, yeah, where Bishop is. Mm, not sure about that one. Okay, reissue shares in existing station. Reissue shares. Hmm, don't know, kind of a 
clue about that one either, actually. Uh, so look at another one. Seven down. Unravel clue only when verbs include it. Unravel is possibly an anagram indicator, but then it's a little hard to tell uh, what that would be. I don't know. I'm not sure how to interpret that one. So let's move on. And another hint tip, by the way, with cross cryptic crosswords is if you can't get a clue really quickly early on, just, just move on. Um, because once you've got some letters for it from other clues, it probably becomes easier. Okay, one bird inhabiting swamps primarily. Okay. Uh, <laughs> now, this is a really nice one. So these, these kinds of clues sometimes get called and lit, um, which I think means and literally. Is that right? I can't remember. Anyway, it's an and lit clue. And what that means is the whole thing is the definition. So it's a bird that inhabits swamps primarily. And the whole thing is also the wordplay. And so from the wordplay, one is quite often I, because it sort of looks like the number one. Ridiculous, I know. Uh, and then primarily usually means what it means here, which is you take the first letter. So we take the first letter as a bird inhabiting swamps, and we get a bird, ibis. It's quite a nice clue, actually, that one. OK, highly favoured, not so much when retired, possibly. Um, interesting. I don't know what that is. So this seven down we now know begins with an S. Does that help unravel clue only when verbs included? Oh, don't know what that is. Nine across. A thousand. So a thousand is usually M, the Roman numeral for a thousand. A thousand fish in bottom of boat. So what's the bottom of a boat called? Um, I mean, there's a hull, but that's not what they're looking for. There's a word, isn't there? thinking that it's probably M for a thousand and then a three letter fish um, and then the whole thing means bottom of boat but I can't quite get it. Okay let's move on. Let's, let's begin with O. Oh yeah where bishop is to supervise. I don't know. Bishop is. Where is a bishop? I mean they live in a palace right? It's not a palace. On the map is on something even if it's not on board. Um, all right, let's move on. Unimportant point in dog perhaps. Oh, we've already looked at that. Look at this one. Queen traveling by rail in country. Now, queen can be Q, but I think it's much more commonly ER, which is Elizabeth Regina, which is uh, the abbreviation used for the current queen. So ER. ER, traveling by rail in country. Queen could be something else here, perhaps. So... <laughs> Country in country is a little tricky because it could just be the name of a country or it could be a word like rural, although we've already had rural in this uh, puzzle, so that seems unlikely. Queen traveling by rail in country. Rail is quite often R-Y for railway. I don't know why that's the abbreviation. It's the first and last letters of railway. R-Y inside a country to give you the name of a queen, Mary, no. Um, don't know, let's move on. So, plain perhaps is outstanding wave rider. Plain perhaps is outstanding wave rider. I mean, a wave rider is a surfboard or a surfer. Outstanding is, can be various things. There are various initials that get used for words like that, sort of AI for A1, can be outstanding. Mm, don't really like that. Let's have a look at this. Coach 20 regularly. 
or a somewhat smaller group. Um, okay, <laughs> so regularly, not always, but very often means what it means here, which is you take every other letter of what comes before it. Um, and in this case, it's, it's usually the even letters. I think that's even means regular meaning even. Sometimes it'll say oddly, and then it'll be the odd letters. But in this case, if we take the even letters of coach 20, we get O, C, T, E, T, which is octet, which is a group of eight, somewhat smaller than 20, so there we go. Um, it's quite a cl clever clue, that one. Okay, resistance, interrupting, attempt to sell fish. So resistance is almost always R, which is the um, uh, SI abbreviation for resistance. Um, I'm trying to think what this could be. So an attempt it would usually be a try. But I don't know how we'd have resistance interrupting try. So it's not try, it's something else. Attempt could be trial no. Test. Reissue shares in existing station. I never looked at that one before. I have no idea what's going on there. No clue. Okay. Be dreamily infatuated about a vehicle in light biscuit. Oh wow. <laughs> what is that? So I'm kind of guessing the definition is going to be be dreamily infatuated. Maybe not though. The problem is we've got the words about and in. So they can mean nothing, they can just be space space fillers to make it into a sentence, but they also can usually mean about, often means you take a word and you sort of split it around another word, and in usually means you put a word into the middle of another word, so they sort of have the same effect. A vehicle often is car or van, just because they're short words. Um, it could be bus as well, that's another one, but car and van are more usually easier to fit inside another word. In light biscuit. Biscuit. Um, maybe car or van in. Oh, maybe Garibaldi. I don't know. If you're if you're um, an American viewer and you see the word biscuit, you have to be aware that in the UK biscuit means something completely different. <laughs> so it'll have a very different intent. And actually, that will be a challenge if you're doing cryptic crosswords and you're not British. Actually, it's, it often gets quite hard because it refers to some very British specific things um, quite often but you know like everything with cryptic crosswords you, you get used to them okay so the French the French is almost always le or la usually le but it can be la same with the Spanish is l or la and the German is der die den das and so on so the French entrance papal ambassador uh, papal ambassador oh what do you call the papal ambassador beginning with le or la Some entrances a door, a door, the door. I think is that right? What else is an entrance? I don't know. Not doing very well on this one, I think. Let's have a look at another one. So, 18 down. Boast about French footwear. So, French is probably just the letter F. Um, with so a word with bo meaning boast. So I'm sort of assuming the definition is footwear and it's a word that means a type of shoe, but it could be boast, in which case about would probably be C, I suppose. So so there's another thing about the word about. It often means you place a word about another word, but it can also mean C for circa, which means about. Um, and it can sometimes be RE as well. Um, like when you put in an email, you say re your email on the 21st of July. Uh, so about is one of those multifaceted words in crosswords. Anyway, what follows ninth cut in canvas cover? Wow, what is that? What follows ninth? I mean, what follows ninth is tenth, but that's not the answer. <laughs> what follows ninth cut in canvas cover? Uh, ninth 
cut could be just N I. Um, if you cut the word ninth, you maybe cut the end of it off to get N I, perhaps, or N I N. Follows ninth cut in canvas cover. I mean, canvas cover could that be C S? The covers or the C or could it be C? The cover of canvas is the letter C, maybe. <sighs> I'm sure I've seen it used that way really, but okay, not doing well here at all. Move to live elsewhere. It's concerning Yorkshire Town. Now I want that to be relocate. Why is it relocate? So concerning is re again. Definitely going to be re something. It's concerning. It's definitely re something. And then there'll be a Yorkshire town, and the whole thing will mean move to live elsewhere. It's uh, another word for relocate. Um, <laughs> can't think of one. Relocate. So would this be resistance interrupting attempt to sell fish? To sell fish. Trout. There you go. Of course. Obvious. So tout is the word that means sell. Resistance interrupts um, an attempt to sell, which is tout, and then the whole thing is a fish, which is trout. Okay, so it's definitely not relocate because the T is in the wrong place. So it's useful. Maybe something else. Uh, this be dreamily infatuated about a vehicle in light biscuit. Some biscuits, custard cream, Bourneville, nice penguin. <laughs> mm, none of those seem right. I don't know what's going on there. Let me look at this one. Oh, yeah, reunite scattered staff. So I don't. You, oh, yeah, okay, so this is an anagram. So scattered tells us that the. Um, uh, we're going to do an anagram of reunite. So the wordplay is. Anagram reunite, and then the definition is staff. So it's a word that means staff, and now staff can mean the people who work somewhere, or it can mean a big stick like Gandalf carries. Um, what is it here? Uh, I don't know. What is it? Reunite. Okay, I'll come back to it. I know it's not about reunite, but I don't know what it is. So, oh, I haven't seen this one yet. Girl, it's flying around in plane. Right, so this is another anagram, I think. I don't know the answer yet, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be an anagram of girl edge. Now, notice we don't include the S there. Sometimes, sometimes they do, and sometimes they don't. But the, the apostrophe S yes is sort of telling you that you're um, having the letters of girl ed fly around in a plane. Uh, fly around, which means it's an anagram, and then plane probably will be the, uh, the definition. Didn't we have that somewhere else? Plane. I can't remember. Maybe not. Girl ed. So it's an anagram of girl ed. Now, one thing we know, if we know that this is an anagram of reunite, is that it's, this one's got to end in one of the letters of reunite. So that's an R, I, or E. Most likely R or E. So this probably ends in R or E. Girl Ed. Um, Lidger. No. Glider. There we go. Okay, so this is retinue. That's a staff, right? So your staff or your retinue, which is an anagram of reunite. This one was glider, which means a type of plane, uh, as in an aeroplane kind of thing. Oh, this okay, so it begins with B and ends in D. That makes sense. Highly favored. So, the reason I say that makes sense is if the definition is highly favored, which I now believe it is, um, just grammatically it's got to be something that sort of matches with that. And for something to mean the same as highly favored, it's quite likely going to end in a D. Not guaranteed. There are pl plenty of words that mean highly favored that don't end in a D, but it's reasonably safe bet. And in this case, the fact that it does end in a D makes me think it's almost certainly. Highly favoured is the definition. 
So not so much when retired, possibly, is the uh, wordplay. Not so much when retired, possibly, highly favoured. That's what word that means, highly favoured. I don't know. Uh, what was this one? Reissue shares an existing station. So reallocate means reissue shares in existing. Okay, so uh, real is existing, R-E-A-L, and then station shares station. I mean, okay, so I think I get why. I'm not super confident about it, but I think What's happening here is that reallocate means reissue shares. If you reissue some shares, you reallocate them. Existing is real, and locate is station, as in if you station somebody at a particular position, you locate them there. It's a bit dubious to me, but I can't think of a better explanation. I'm pretty confident it's the right answer. Okay, what about this one? I wonder if this could have. Oh, is it macaroon? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, so, um, is it macaroon? Moon, yes, okay, good, yes. So, to be dreamy, if, you, if you're dreamily infatuated about someone, you moon about them. That's moon. And then we have a vehicle, a car. Now, generally speaking, the Times is pretty good about this. If the letter A appears as a single word, the word A, in a clue, it's there for a reason, and it generally means it appears in the answer. So they don't put, you'll notice most of the time, um, they don't put A. So what follows ninth cut in canvas cover, if they put A canvas cover, then that would mean there was an A somewhere playing some real part. Okay, so what was going on with this one? Move to live elsewhere. Resettle, oh yes, yeah, settle is a Yorkshire town. Of course, right, the French entrance Oh, legat, that's the word, yeah. Okay, so the entrance here is a gate, um, le is the French, and legat is a papal ambassador. Um, plane, perhaps, is outstanding wave rider. Oh, yeah, we did have plane twice. Plane was a glider, and now plane is here. So what's this? Plane, perhaps, is outstanding wave rider. I mean, outstanding could be just top. Top sail? Let's wonder if this is beginning with T then. Boast about French footwear. Oh, I should be able to think of words that mean boast. Carp, is that boast? Not really. Um, boast about French footwear. I don't know. Um, support fresh for. Oh, I think I've looked at this one. Now. Support freshwater fish out of river. So most likely freshwater fish is a type of fish. I wonder if it's I wonder if out of river means taking the R out of the name of a freshwater fish. Oh a beam, yeah. Again, I think that's been some slightly dubious ones here. I think that's a little bit dubious because you're not taking the fish out of the river, you're taking the river out of the fish. But anyway, what we're doing here is we're saying support means beam, so a, a thing that supports the roof is a beam. Um, freshwater fish is a bream, and we take the river out of it, so half a river we remove from the fish, we get beam. Don't really like that clue, but there we go. Okay, so ooh, boast about... Oh! Oh, I see! I was missing the point here. So about can be an anagram indicator as well. It's another use of about, and that's what it is in this case. I think a sabot is a um, French sandal. I think that's right. What follows ninth cut in canvas cover? I mean, canvas cover is a tent. Oh, <laughs> of course. Oh, I feel silly now. I should have got that. So, 
as I said earlier, what follows ninth is tenth, and if you cut that word, if you cut the last letter off tenth, you get tent, and the canvas cover is a tent. Okay, queen travelling by rail in country. Queen, oh, I think it is Mary Ann. No, maybe not. Is there a Queen Mary Ann? No. No, I don't think that could be right. Okay, so what's this? Salvage? No. Plain, perhaps, is outstanding. Important point in dock, perhaps. So a dock is a type of leaf. Um, dock can also mean when two things sort of join, like when spaceships dock, <laughs> when ships dock, and that kind of thing. Um, it can also be the place in a courtroom where the uh, accused stands or sits. Word to know that the area that a bishop runs is called a sea, S E E, um, and a bishop is over a sea because they run it. And if you supervise someone, you oversee what they do. Very nice. Okay, highly favoured. Not so much when retire. I mean, this this the thing I'm thinking is when you retire something, you may be turning round, which means if you look at this word backwards, it doesn't mean highly favoured. But I can't believe that such a word could end in B. It just doesn't seem. So I don't think that could be the answer. Not so much with time. Highly favoured. So it's probably going to end in ED. Uh, Brassed, bruised. Braised. <laughs> None of these mean highly favoured. Alright, a thousand fish in bottom of the boat. Oh, I wish I could remember the word from the bottom of the boat. But I don't think it begins in M. The word I'm thinking of. The bottom of the boat beginning with M. I don't think so. Dear, oh dear. Unravel clue only when verbs included. I don't know if it's verb just V. I think it's. VB in most dictionaries, isn't it? Maybe it's just V. Is it just an anagram? No. I don't think it can be an anagram. Unravel. Clue. I mean, a clue is a hint or a tip. Unravel. I mean, that sounds like an anagram indicator, but unless this is wrong. No, that's definitely right. Ibis, yeah. I think 
there's any countries that make sense there, but it's not very obvious. stuck on these last few. Planes, trains and automobiles. Mm, plane perhaps is outstanding way of glider. I don't know. Unimportant point in dock perhaps. A thousand fish in bottom boat. It's got to be airman. Yeah, it's got to be airman, I think. Keel, isn't that the. Ah, oh, of course. Ah, silly, so K is a thousand. <laughs> Fish, and then, of course, if you keel haul somebody, this is how I remember that if you keel haul somebody, you, you know, send them down under the bottom of the boat on a rope. So, there we go. Does that help me finish it? Oh, unravel clue is solve. Oh, very tricky. Yeah, so V is verb here, and only is soul. If you're the sole heir to an estate, you're the only heir to that estate. And V for verb, and then you get unravel clue, which is the definition. <laughs> This highly favored, not so much from retired, possibly. So I'm guessing it means something you don't do when you're retired, perhaps, but maybe not. Um, highly favored is blessed. Why is that the answer? Not so much when retired, possibly. Oh, goodness me. Ah, oh, this is a really funny one. This is very clever, very funny. So, um, what we've got here is not so much, which is less. And less is in bed, B-E-D. So, if you retire, you go to bed. And once you're retired, you're in bed. And they've got the word less, in bed. This is a very, very tricky clue, I think. Um, but anyway, there we go. Blessed, highly favoured. All right, unimportant point in dock, perhaps. Oh, dock can also mean cut, can't it? If you dock someone's pay, you cut it, not reduce it. Um, unimportant point in dock, perhaps detail. Why would it be detail? Is that an unimportant point? Yeah, it kind of is, right? Oh, <laughs> oh! That's another really clever one. If you if you dock an animal, you cut its tail off. <laughs> so we're detailing the animal, taking its tail off, and that ends up with an unimportant point. Wow! The, honestly, the quick cryptic is usually not this tricky uh, and complicated. But these have been some really there's some been some slightly dodgy clues, but also some really clever ones. And it's also possible the dodgy ones are just too clever for me. <laughs> Wouldn't necessarily surprise me. Now. What have we got here? Queen travelling by rail in country. Terrain. Oh, uh, another really clever one. So what we've got here is ER, and ER is inside train. So she's travelling by rail. If you travel by rail, you're in a train. <laughs> Goodness me. Okay, last one. Plain perhaps is outstanding wave rider. So Surface, a 
surface is a plane. Oh, another brilliant one. Okay, plane is a surface. Uh, you know, a flat thing is a plane and also a surface. And this is a surf ace. <laughs> so, a really good wave rider is somebody who, wave, who rides the waves really well. So, they are a surf ace, a surfing ace, that makes a surface. Wow, okay, I had no idea when I picked this puzzle that it was going to be such an amazing one. I thought it would just be a typical <laughs> quick cryptic, uh, but it turns out to have actually been a really, really funny and interesting and clever one. You know, funny I say, because a lot of these clues, like the blessed one and surface and detail, actually, they make me laugh. Um, and uh, yeah, that was that was very cool. Maybe maybe not a beginner's puzzle, this one. Um, you can never tell with the Times Cryptic, although, to be honest, I have noticed that Joker does tend to do, he or she, or they do tend to do uh, quite tricky ones. So anyway, there we go. Uh, I'd better submit it and just check. Wow, 40 minutes. Yeah, that's a really long time to solve a quick cryptic. Um, okay, all green, so that means they're all correct. Um, okay, there we go. Uh, I hope that's been at least somewhat interesting, um, maybe a little bit helpful or educational as well. If you did enjoy that and you would like to see me do more of these videos on uh, cryptic crosswords, let me know. Um, I've, I've been a lover of cryptic crosswords for almost all my life, so the idea of occasionally covering them in my YouTube channel feels pretty appealing to me. So yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.